Hey, what's up, guys? It's x 2 robbie 2 x here. I'm back with some Minecraft modding made easy. And today, we're going to be looking at saplings. So, let's get uh, let's get ready to do this. So, saplings are actually um, blocks, as you might have known, because you actually place them, and they're not items. So, let's uh, let's start out with in our mod underscore class. And we're going to just create a new block, blockium sapling equals new blockium, block blockium sapling. And then you give it a um, ID, 206, that's what I gave it. And then you're going to have a zero, but we're actually going to change that because it's going to um, give us some complications. But first of all, I'll show you without it. And next we're, um, I don't have this open, so let's go look at block.java. So if we search sapling, whoops, sapling, and search it again, search it again, here are all the properties of a sapling. So you can go ahead and copy all of this, and make sure to know that the uh, um, the ID of the texture of a sapling is 15, because that's going to come in handy. So yeah, copy that, paste it into here, and don't forget to add a block dot sound grass footstep because though that might give you some errors and this is going to be un red underline for you so don't worry about that because you have not made this class yet I'm looking at the wrong class this class <laughs> is going to be red underlined so don't worry about that but um alright so if we go down in our constructor I have a sapling here let me just get rid of that and um, we have to register the block because it is a block, so it needs some registering. Next, we're going to add a name, so just make it a blockium sapling or whatever you else you want. And then you're going to give it a texture, so we can go ahead and look at my texture. Uh, MCP Eclipse Client Bin Blockium Sapling, right here. All right. I made this custom, I just, it looked kind of stupid, but whatever. It's like a little tree bush. Yeah, well, whatever. You're going to see it in game soon. So, that's my sapling. And you're just going to override the terrain.png, make it your own sapling. And there it is. That's all that we got, I guess, for our sapling. So now, let's look at our actual sapling class. Here it is. Now, what we're going to do is how you get all this code. You don't actually need to type all this in. You can just go ahead and go into block sapling.java. Go ahead and copy everything and paste it into here. Now, we're going to need to, I can, uh, I'll leave that up, whatever. We're going to need to add some stuff and edit some stuff. So, uh, first of all, we're going to do make sure it extends block flower, but, which you should if you copy and paste it. Make sure to replace the name of the class and constructor so it fits your own custom class because, you know, it can't be just block sapling. So once we have that, you do not have this method yet, so we're going to get to that later. Uh, update tick, you can just leave this as it is if you just want it to grow as a normal tree. If you want it to grow faster, uh, mess around with this. Something in here, I don't know, something. Uh, yeah. Just mess around somewhere here if you want to grow faster or something. Um, I'm so good at describing stuff. Here, um, they get the block texture from side and metadata. What you want to do is just return um, block index texture for all of them. That's going to make sure that um, it's, it's, it has a texture that you set it to that you, that you overrid. I don't know why these comments are here. But yeah, everywhere where it says return... Uh, here it's going to say return 63, here it's going to say return 79. You're just going to want to, and here's just going to be return 0, I think, or something like that. So for all of them, just put block index in texture. That's going to give you that custom texture. Um, next, you are going to see uh, grow tree method, and then you're going to see like if L equals 1, if L equals 2, else. This is pretty much like taiga, forest, and trees. This is like the pine uh, I don't know what other trees are. I think there's pine, like oak, or whatever it's called, and the other one. So there's three kinds. Um, it's pretty much figures out which tree, which sapling it is. 
you're gonna go right ahead and comment that out which is a comment and a star like a backslash and a star right before the if and then a star backslash right after the ending bracket of that of I mean this else so this code is does not matter but also you're not gonna have this see like all of these little um, objects were being initialized to either to either one of the three of the saplings what we're gonna do is actually in it force initialize it into object obj and the object is already gonna be made it's gonna be a null so you're gonna do obj well actually yeah whatever okay yeah obj equals new world gen blockium tree now this depends on what tree you made we made our world gen blockium tree Whatever world gen class you made, that's what you want it to be for your tree. And then put an empty parenthesis because we did our constructor contained nothing and it took no parameters. So just go ahead and do that. Now you're going to have the object. Um, right here, you want to keep this the same. But uh, I don't think you have to change anything in here. Uh, nope, you don't have to change anything in here. So just keep this the same. Just make sure to comment this out. The, the thing where it sets uh, different types of saplings you make sure to comment that out and damage dropped you can keep this the same now if we go back up we saw this class I mean this method right here um, this is not going to be in your sapling class I mean yeah class so you're going to want to look into block flower because sapling ex actually extends flower and here you're going to find a method that says can this plant grow on this block ID so you're gonna to want to copy that. Now you don't. You only need to copy it if you want it to grow on something else than grass, because naturally plants and flowers grow on grass, as you can see right here. It can grow on grass, dirt, and tilled field. So tilled grass or tilled uh, dirt. So if you want your um, if you want your tree to grow on grass or dirt or tilled dirt. Just keep it. You don't. You don't need to put this method in. Now our our uh, our tree is actually going to grow on sand, and so we're going to add in this method and override the method of that plant. I mean, of that flower. So we're going to put this in. Leave the thing as it is, and then um, as you see right here, it checks if I. So if the ID of the block underneath it is uh, is <laughs> is grass, dirt or well it's grass or this is or dirt or um tilled dirt then you can grow on there now what you can do is just copy this and you can add different uh, different blocks i mean you can add however however many blocks you want you can do like obsidian and nether rock and um, i don't i don't know whatever you want uh where where am i so I only did one. I only did sand because I only want my tree to grow on sand. So I just did return i equals equals block dot sand, which pretty much checks is the block underneath it sand. If it is, it returns a true value, meaning this plant can grow on this block. Now, if we try to put the sapling on grass, it will not grow. So there you go. Is how you set that. And uh, we have the major portion of the sapling done. So we can close out of block sapling. We can close out of uh, block flower. And um, next thing, what we want to do is simply go into our block blockium leaf class, and we're going to go down to our ID dropped method, and simply um, we're, what we're going to do is return a blockium sapling dot block ID for our ID dropped. Now we talked about this before about randoms and how they work in IDs. So, if you still want uh, the cookies also dropping, what we're going to do is so if um, rand dot next int oh it's random okay it's random because uh, the method over here passed in random so if random dot next int two or no let's make it let's make it four out of five chance to get a sapling okay let's do that so. If random nine next int five, so it goes from there's it picks random numbers from either zero through four, so zero one two three four, which is five numbers. So if random on next int five um, is equals equals um, zero, 
So there's a one out of five chance that it's going to return mod blockium dot a blockium nom nom dot shifted index because that's an item. So there's a one out of five chance. So if the random numbers go from zero to four and that random number is equal to zero, then it's going to return um, our cookie. Now, like I said before, if statements, when you don't have brackets in the body, if statements only take the next line down. So it only takes this. So this pretty much acts like an else statement without the else actually being typed out. So if it's a, uh, if the random number from zero to four is zero, then it returns a cookie. So meaning one out of five chance to get a cookie. Else, if it's not, then it returns a sapling. So what we have is quantity dropped up here. It's five. So we already checked it that there's a one out of five chance that if we break a leaf, we get um, we get something. We we don't know what we're gonna get yet, but there's a one out of five chance that the leaf will drop something. And now here, there's a one out of five chance that if the leaf will drop something, it will be a cookie. So all in all, there's a one in twenty-five chance, one in twenty-five leaves chance that it will drop a cookie, and there's a one in uh, Let's see, 4 out of 5 times, so there's a 4 and 25 chance that it will drop a sapling. So, it's, you know, that's a pretty good chance. So this is how you do it if you want to do, like, give, give different uh, chances and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know why, I just confused myself there. <laughs> Statistics. Alright, so that's all you need to do in here. We just need to mess around with the ID dropped, and if you want to do quantity dropped, you can mess around with that number also. But just mess around with the ID dropped class and we're gonna go ahead and save and we can get rid of that one also now I thought that this tutorial would be kinda of short but I guess it's not because we're at 12 minutes so I'll make this in the part two probably this is